Today we packed up a U-Haul and uh, to take the kayaks and two bikes up to the Shire because it's a recreational property as well as our retirement home as well as a bug out property as well as a homestead. Um, flexibility and use of places shouldn't just be solely focused. You know if you have just a wooden cabin in the middle of a forest yes it's a bug out place but it's not really ever going to be a home. So what we've done is we've looked for a farm and forest and all the things we looked for, water and isolation and food foraging and all the rest of it. We found it and we bought it and Kitty, sister-in-law and her hubby are living there and they've been there six weeks now and having great fun. Lots of turtles, uh, put some pictures of the turtles up. I think we've seen three of the eight species of turtles so far having deposited eggs on the property which is kind of beautiful sign of cleanliness if nothing else so with the project to take the kayaks up the 10 foot wide kayaks um, we needed to get a 10 by 6 van so I decided to move the bulk of our emergency food up there so over about the past five years I've been collecting white rice and pasta and tins of spam and quinoa and dehydrated vegetables and fruits and sauces and spices and salt and sugar and you name it I've been collecting it. Um, a couple of emergency trips where I spent about three or four hundred dollars at Costco based upon the state of the world mostly it's been ten dollars, twenty dollars, thirty dollars hither and dither uh, on top of the regular grocery stores. Now I did some good things. Um, the one thing I did good was that I bought good quality tins, so BPA is not there, and the tins all really survived very well, so did the packaging. Because I think if you're buying cheaper tins, you're going to get thinner tins. I also bought a lot of uh, gamma lids and food grade buckets, which were fairly pricey. Um, I think like probably $20, $25 each Canadian, including the lids. Uh, but I've been bought from Costco. I'm really glad I did that. Uh, it made collection of the food that I was gathering well controlled because when I run out of boxes the food starts to pile up in corners all over the spot as I'm sure you may have noticed in a few videos and we moved uh, the majority of the food from the house now to the Shire because our original idea was to bug in at the cottage but that was never going to work well so we kind of were I'm in an iron with that so we were going to bug in at home and we still probably would bug in at home in certain events a sudden nuclear war um, a sudden loss of ultraviolet protection a few things like that we might shelter in place in our basement for up to three months or so so right now because I've moved so much food out we're probably down to about six months to a year's well, actually probably a year's worth of food here which is good news um, what surprised me was moving about two years food supply, uh, eating well actually for me and Kitty to the Shire, didn't take much room in the van, uh, that was a big shock, it's heavy but the number of boxes we actually moved and when we put them in the van because they're actually in sp specific containers that are very similar to each other, they fit well. So the van was just a layer, um, food bucket of layer on the base of it was the food supply. I also put in some spare propane and stuff like that and some t-shirts uh, which you can use as t-shirts or you can cut them up and use them as toilet roll. So I'm very happy with how it went. The things that don't, I'm not happy about about my uh, food supply that I've done over the years is it is not organized. I figure in SHTF uh, her sister, my sister-in-law is going to be the, um, the stores person for sure. She's very good at that sort of thing and she wouldn't be taking it herself or taking it not seriously. Whereas if Kitty gets hungry she'll just eat it. If she gets hungry she'll eat it. Um, so that part I'm not too worried about the fact it wasn't completely very anally organized. I'm not bothered about. You literally open up a box and you find oh there's dried uh, red pepper or oh there's mango dried or oh there's basmati rice or oh there's flour or there's yeast. So I think in SSGF mostly we'd have the time to go through the boxes and get some sort of organization going. What I'm not happy with um, is the fact that trying to do that in a, an originally in a 1300 square foot suburban home isn't very practical. I took out quite a bit of the basement by shoving stuff in the sides and it still needs a lot of organization. So I think if you're going to do this, I think one of the things I would have done differently um, because I was storing it in the basement, 
I had dry bulk goods like white rice that can be frozen and heated outdoors with tins in them. So I had to go through, literally go through all the boxes to remove tinned goods and glass goods and liquids that really should not be uh, outside in a non-heated barn, a non-air conditioned barn, uh, a non-warm barn, just basically it's experiencing uh, 40 Fahrenheit to 125 Fahrenheit over the course of a year. So that's one of the things I would have done differently. Uh, I would have deliberately packed with stuff that can be buried outside and separated out from stuff that really should be trying to try to be kept inside the home wherever the home is.